When rubbish breaks down at landfill sites, it decomposes through an anaerobic process, which basically means without oxygen being present. Something called leachate is a product of this type of decomposition. This is a liquid that is produced when rainwater filters through rotting rubbish. As it does this, it picks up various soluble chemicals and products of decomposition. If this is not managed properly, this contaminated water, the leachate, could pollute the surrounding surface water courses, nearby rivers or groundwater around landfill sites. And this would cause them to be polluted? Exactly, but modern landfills are engineered to high specification and they are designed to take account of the geology of an area, the flow and direction of local watercourses and the level of water table. The key is how waste is contained and this includes the landfill being lined with materials to contain the leachate. The traditional way is engineered clay and nowadays a man-made material called high density polythene, both of which are impermeable. For the management of leachate, a network of drains have been put around the site, where there is danger of some of the leachate contaminating the surrounding watercourses. The leachate is collected and aerated, you know, letting air at it before being pumped into the sewers. Merseyside Waste Disposal Authority works in conjunction with the regulatory bodies to ensure that the discharged leachate meets their stringent standards. Regular monitoring of the surface water and groundwater is undertaken to ensure that the leachate from the landfill site does not pollute the water. The thing is, leachate is still being created up to 50 years after rubbish has stopped being tipped. So the monitoring and the control of water and pollution is essential. So thank goodness we are being looked after as residents of Merseyside. <laughs>